Hey everyone, here to show you guys how to use the Keysight EDU 363118A triple output DC power supply. So the unit is here in front of me. Let's take a quick look at what's on it. We have a power button, the main screen, some function selector buttons, um, channel selection buttons, and three outputs on the bottom. So this is three sets. This is output one, this is output two, this is output three and then we have an earth ground contact. So to start, let's just turn the power supply on. We'll wait a few seconds to turn it on. And this unit has three outputs. So the first output, which we'll call the yellow output, output one. Um, if you look on the bottom of the screen here, it'll tell you that its maximum voltage is six volts and its maximum current is one amp. And then we have two other outputs, output two and three. Each of those has a maximum voltage of 30 volts and a maximum current of one amp. So to configure each output individually, you switch between them with these buttons here. So for example, if you press one, the uh, channel one will get highlighted on the screen. And then anything that you change will be affecting channel one, which is this output down here. If you press two, channel two will get highlighted and anything you change will be affecting channel two. So let's start with how to configure channel one here. You press that button. Uh, you can uh, use the voltage knob here to change the voltage. This will change uh, the voltage output here. You can change between different digits. So this is changing whole volts. This is now changing tenths of a volt. Um, so you can dial in a voltage that way or you can just type a voltage. So for example, if I want five, I can type 5.0, enter, and that will set the voltage to five volts. And then if you want to change current, you can either press this button, and now once you turn it or press it, you'll be affecting the current. So now down here, for example, that is your current limit. So for example, if I want to limit it to 1.0 amps, I now have a five volt supply that will supply a maximum of one amp. <clears throat> um, but the output is not on yet. So these buttons turn the outputs on or off. There's an all on and all off button here. So if you want to turn this supply on, you press the on. Now you'll have five volts running on this output. And the display here will show you what the actual um, performance of that supply is. So right now it's slightly below five volts. And since there's nothing connected to it, we have no current flowing, uh, which consequently there's no wattage. Uh, no power being supplied by the supply. So you can turn that supply off. So I've switched to a wider viewpoint here and want to show you how to configure the other two supplies. So supplies two and three are these zero to 30 volt supplies. So they work the same way. Um, so we can press supply two here to be configuring supply two uh, and we can dial in, let's, let's dial in a um, higher voltage. Let's dial in like 15.0 volts, enter. Uh, and it's already preset to a maximum of one amp. So if I take my um, multimeter, which on the top here, I have a multimeter set up. Uh, if I measure this, you will see that I'll be getting, when I turn it on, I'll be getting uh, 15 volts. Okay, and we can do the same thing on supply two. So I can come here, I can do 15.0 volts. Uh, and turn that supply on. And then I will also be getting 15 volts on this supply. Now, something that people often want to do is we want what's called a split supply, which is where we maybe have for an operational amplifier or some type of you know, dual supply uh, chip, we need a, a positive and a negative supply of the same voltage. So maybe we need plus and minus 15 volts. And you might be thinking, how do we get that when we have two positive volt supplies. So thinking in terms of what this supply really means, the black terminal on a supply is we would call the negative side. The red terminal is the positive side. And what you can really say is that the positive side is 15 volts higher than the negative side. Uh, but you could reverse that and say, okay, the, the negative side is 15 volts lower than the positive side. So if we take these two terminals, the positive of supply three and the negative of supply two, and we force them to be the same voltage, then this terminal will be 15 volts higher than here, and this terminal will be 15 volts lower than here. So let's see how we can do that 
we can grab a, a banana wire here. So we can grab a banana to banana wire. Um, typically, since this is going to be the middle, we would choose a black one and we can bind these two supplies together. So we can put this in here and this in here. And what that is doing is making the negative terminal of supply two and the positive terminal of supply three the same potential. So the negative of supply three will be 15 volts lower than here. And these are the same point. So the positive terminal of supply two will be 15 volts higher than the common in the middle. And we can show that by measuring. So if I take my meter and I measure here to here, I will get 15 volts. And then if I bring this terminal over to the right and I measure here, I will get negative 15 volts. Now, the next thing you can do is you can turn on tracking and tracking will bind two supplies together. So you'll see in the middle right here, these are now linked. So if I increase one supply's voltage, the other supply's voltage will increase as well. So if I turn the voltage up, you'll see that both the supplies are now tracking along with each other. So those are the uh, major features of this uh, benchtop power supply. Uh, if you have any other questions, um, ask the staff around the makerspace. Thanks very much.